Well, exactly right. It's just about getting back on the court, getting in shape, playing a little bit of tennis, playing doubles in a couple of the Olympus U.S. Open Series events leading to the U.S. Open. But that's really it. I mean, uh, I'm well past the prime of my career. Two young kids um, covering the singles court almost seems impossible at this stage. But um, it's so great. Such a great sport, sport of a lifetime. I'm happy to still be involved in, in some capacity. Um, yeah, last year it was really exciting for me to win the the, the Olympus U.S. Open Series. It was a thrill uh, to be on the on the on the list with Andy Roddick and Roger Federer, both uh, U.S. Open champions. And and hopefully this year, you know, I, I hope I could repeat. It's it's tough out there. There's a there's a lot of great players, and and each tournament's uh, each tournament's tough. But uh, I'm gonna do my best. Oh, absolutely. It, it almost becomes wide open. She's such a leading favorite at every Grand Slam tournament she plays in. And, and even now, because even if she is able to play, she will not have played a match since Wimbledon, probably can't practice much. Her foot is in a cast. So it remains to be seen. It, it really an opportunity for someone to break through at the U.S. Open. Last year we saw Kim Kleisters do it after being away from the game for two and a half years. Maybe it'll happen um, for another lady this year on the women's side. But you also have Venus, who's a very dangerous opponent. But I truly believe this is going to be a breakthrough year, either for a player who hasn't won a Grand Slam um, or for one of the up-and-coming uh, players. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think uh, Roger and Rafa are the two clear favorites. I, I think in the past, uh, Roger's been more of a favorite than Rafa, but I think, uh, I think this year um, Nadal is, is a little bit more of a clear favorite because of his success uh, you know, winning the French Open and Wimbledon. And, uh, you know, for me, I'm just, you know, I'm going to try to make the quarterfinals. That's kind of my, my short-term goal here, and, and hopefully I can go further than that. But uh, as of now, that's kind of, uh, you know, where I've put the bar. You know, you could, you could watch all the, the semifinals and finals for the men's and women's tournaments on, on ESPN2, and a lot of it will be on, on Tennis Channel. And then you could also go online to usopenseries.com for, for more information.